In this video, I'm going to show you how to use one-way ANOVA using the TI-84 graphing calculator. And this video is intended for my STATS 220 students, and this follows handout three for the example that we're doing in class. If you find this uh, video helpful to help you understand one-way ANOVA, that's great, and I hope you get something from it. So first thing we have to do is we have to enter our data into uh, the lists in the TI-84 calculator. So I'm going to go to the STATS menu and I'm going to choose edit and I actually already typed the data into the list so that way I could save a little bit of time so the data is already entered in there you'd have to enter that data if you need to you can pause the video and type the data in once you have the data in your calculator the next thing you're going to do is go back to the stats function again and we're going to go over to the right to um, the test menu which is right here and the easiest way to get to the very bottom where ANOVA is, is just hit the up arrow one time and you'll see the ANOVA function at the bottom. Hit enter. And then it's going to come up and say ANOVA. It doesn't have the dialog boxes like the other um, uh, hypothesis tests in uh, the graphing calculator. So what we have to do is we have to tell it what list we store the data in. So we'll go second in the number one to pull up list one and then use the comma to separate the next list. So second and then the number two comma, second the number three for list three and then the comma and then to get list four, second and the number four for list four. We'll close the parentheses on that and then go ahead and hit enter. Now the calculator gives us the output for the one-way ANOVA. First thing it gives us is this F value. This is our test statistic of 19.605. Right below that is our p-value, 3.592578 e to the negative sixth, which means we have to move the decimal place over three places to the left. Now, depending on what text or what you're doing, um, sometimes this is called factors, sometimes it's called treatments, and sometimes it's called groups, depending on what you're using ANOVA for. Since this is my STATS220 class, we're gonna call these treatments. And so our degrees of freedom for our treatments are three. The sum of squares for our treatments is 382. And then the mean square for the treatments is 127. And then below that, it gives us the, the values for the error. And so it gives us the degrees of freedom for the error, the sum of squares for the error, which is 130. And then the mean square for the error, which is 6.508. And then down below this S with the X and the P, this is actually a standard deviation. If you recall, the mean square is really the sum of squares divided by the degrees of freedom. And so this 6.508, if you take the square root of that, that's really a variance. That'll give us this value of 2.551, which would be the standard deviation of the error. So hopefully this helps you understand one, how to do one-way ANOVA on your graphing calculator. And this also follows the example that we're doing in class.